Hi there. I'm neurosurgeon Dr. Dan Lieberman, and I understand you've got a herniated disc. I'm so sorry. I know they're extremely painful and scary, and I'm here to help you figure out what you're going to do about it. Look, I mean, it seems complicated, but you've really only got three options. And the three options are wait it out. I mean, after all, 90% of these things do get better on their own. The second thing you can do is have an epidural injection. Epidural injection is a good and effective source of pain relief, but it only lasts about 100 hours or, you know, a few days. And then the third and much, much, the most rare, use, rarely used option is to have surgery, the microdiscectomy. Everybody's different. How are you supposed to know which one is right for you? Well, it really depends on two key factors. The first key is the severity of your pain. And then the second issue is whether or not the disc is causing either through direct compression or through inflammation actual nerve root damage, nerve damage. You have nerve damage if you're having enough numbness or weakness that it affects your level of functioning. Well, even giving you those two keys, it's still kind of complicated, right? So if it's okay, I'd like to present a decision matrix. That's just a graphical way of pointing out all your options so you can make the right decision. This is the herniated disc decision matrix, and here's pain. If your pain is bearable or unbearable, it doesn't matter if you've got nerve damage. Nerve damage means you need to move on to microdiscectomy. We don't want you to have a permanent functional deficit. If you don't have nerve damage and the pain is bearable, wait it out. Doesn't mean it doesn't hurt, doesn't mean it doesn't stink, doesn't mean I'm not sorry that you've got it, but it means you can give it a little while. 90 plus percent of these things really do get better on their own. If the pain is unbearable, even if you don't have nerve damage, then you should move on and get an epidural injection. Give it a try. Hopefully it's gonna relieve the pain. These options are all good. And the right option is the one that you think makes the most sense based on your pain level and whether or not you have nerve damage. Make a good decision. I'm sorry you're dealing with this. I hope you get better soon. Hang in there.